Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. The 2013 baseball season is just underway, and right now I'm going to give a quick look at a handful of notable bullpen situations for various teams for the upcoming season. In 2012, the top five teams in bullpen ERA were all in the top seven in the betting standings, and all were very profitable, while four out of the bottom five teams in bullpen ERA were in the bottom eight in the betting standings, and all five were significantly bad bets. So obviously, handicapping bullpens is essential to handicapping baseball lines in general, as we all know. In 2012, Cincinnati led the league in bullpen ERA, which is particularly impressive since they do, of course, play in one of the most hitter-friendly parks in baseball. And in 2013, their pen should be as strong as ever, with Araldis Chapman back as the closer. There was some talk that Chapman would be moved into the starting rotation in 2013, but once the decision was made to keep him as a closer, the bullpen instantly became one of the top projected pens for 2013. And another unanimous choice for one of the elite bullpens in 2013 is Atlanta, who has a deep core of setup men capped by closer Craig Kimbrell, who's uh, considered the best closer in the game at the moment. Atlanta was number two in bullpen ERA in 2012 and number six in betting profitability, and that excellence is likely to continue in 2013. If anything, Atlanta's pen may have gotten even a bit deeper since last year, and Kimbrell is in his prime. Then the Kansas City Royals have gotten a lot of attention from Sharps in the early going. If you're a regular viewer of my weekly calls with the headlinesman from the sportsbook Bet DSI, you know that Kansas City futures were particularly favored by the Sharps before the season began. And some of that, no doubt, has to do with expectations for their bullpen in 2013. Casey had the sixth best bullpen ERA in the majors in 2012, and their improved starting rotation is expected to ease the innings burden on the pen in 13, which in turn is expected to make them even more effective. And then Tampa Bay was number three in bullpen ERA in 2012, and they are projected to be a top bullpen again this year, and they do have good depth as always. Their closer is Fernando Rodney, and he had a phenomenal year in 2012, but he's also 36 years old, and closers are known to be unpredictable in their later years, and also to fade fast and hard if their arm does give out. So keep an eye out for that with Rodney, uh, but it's also entirely possible, of course, that he could again be an elite closer all year long this year. And then the Orioles, Oakland, and the Dodgers all had top 10 bullpen ERAs in 2012 and are all again expected to be upper tier pens in 2013. The worst projected bullpens for 2013 are no surprise, really. Houston and Miami have gutted their rosters, and their bullpens are no exceptions. Both are widely projected to be bottom 10 and probably bottom 5 bullpens in 2013. Then after that, the Mets, Cubs, and Pirates all have bullpens that appear to be shaky at the outset and could wind up proving costly in blowing games during the year. Pittsburgh has their typically light-hitting team this year that nevertheless has been profitable in recent years as a result of solid pitching. But this year, their bullpen just doesn't look like it's going to be a good bet to hold slim leads. Uh, their closer is 36-year-old Jason Grilly, and he's never had more than two saves in any year in his career. The Mets had the second-worst bullpen ERA in the majors last year, and they bring back the same core of ineffective arms this year. Frank Francisco is again the closer, and the setup men are looking once again shaky at best. And the Cubs have now already gotten rid of Carlos Marmol as their closer just a week into the season after a disastrous set of outings. Then there's a few controversial bullpens showing signs they could rise in the top 10 or higher. Seattle had a very effective and reliable pen in 2012, and they have some live young arms who could be in for standout seasons in 2013. Some people have rated Seattle's 2013 pen as easily top five heading into the season. And Boston and Washington also have bullpens that will be essential to their success and, of course, to their betting profitability. And there's been disagreement on where each of their uh, bullpens should be ranked to start the year. Both teams have added a new quality closer, but also have serious questions with their setup men. Boston's going to need bounce back years from a few key guys, and Washington, as of now, has only one lefty reliever in the entire bullpen. So the pens for both of those teams have some promising signs, but also some glaring uncertainties. And that's a look at a few of the baseball bullpens at the start of the 2013 season. As always, keeping on top of bullpen performances as the season progresses is essential if you're going to be betting baseball regularly. For SBR Forum Videos, I'm Peter Loshak.